Well, the other thing is the Browns went out and, and got another big guy in, uh, you know, Alex Leatherwood. I saw him and I'm like, boy, I hope they, they are able to, uh, to bring him in on the practice squad. And they were. Leatherwood is a guy that was the 17th overall pick, probably a reach by the Las Vegas Raiders. But Bill Callahan's got to be going, sure, bring him in. I, we can work with him. You know, like, you know, every now and then when you were like a kid or something went wrong and, you know, like, well, dad would, oh, you call Bill, send it down there. Hope this is, hey, you know, and this is kind of what you did with Dewan Jones. But, you know, and the thing is, his, he had a relative athletic score of almost 9.70 with 10 being the best. So Alex Leatherwood's got some athleticism to work with. Ironically enough, he's probably coming here to learn some tackle position. He played left at Alabama while Jedrick Wills played right. Um, the Bears, when they released him, everybody, oh, yeah, would you have interest? Well, yeah, as long as he goes through waivers because, you know, the Bears had to pay him $4 million. For Leatherwood, he gets his $4 million. He gets an opportunity now to also collect a practice squad salary. He gets to go work with, obviously, Bill Callahan. And if there is a player with inside that body, you know, basically nine times out of ten, Bill Callahan is going to get that guy to become a player. It was a really, really smart acquisition the Browns have done this, and they've been pretty good with this even before Andrew Barry, but identifying talent that didn't necessarily make it. Malik McDowell, obviously, a couple of years ago. Take advantage on talent just because it didn't work out somewhere else, and there could have been a variety of reasons, including the player, why things didn't work out. But, I mean, what harm do you have in putting Alex Leatherwood on your practice squad for a couple of weeks? And the other thing is, you know, Miles Garrett – and all these pass rushers, you know, there is some athleticism to him. He was a number one, you know, first round pick. These are guys you want to practice against as opposed to maybe the guy who came out of, you know, double A, you know, college football at, you know, and as a tackle at 290. Go beat up on a grown man, you know, it's the best way to get your work in.